Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial series on how to create multiplayer games. In this tutorial, we're finally going to get to coding and we're first going to start off by coding our Node.js server to include uh, Socket.io and then we are going to connect our game client to uh, our server and have them start talking to each other. If you're interested in that, go ahead and stick with me. We're going to start off by opening up uh, our main directory inside of a terminal here. So I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to type is npm init. And this is going to initialize our Node.js project. And so basically what we can do is just go ahead and click through here. Um, let's see. We'll just call it multiplayer demo. Evidently it can't co uh, contain capital letters. Um, index.js is fine. We don't need any test commands, nothing like that. Author is Brentarelli. Um, we're going to use an MIT license, and that looks fine. And then what we can do is install uh, Express and also install Socket.io. Now we can do that by saying npm install socket.io and dash dash save to save it to our package.json file. We'll let that install. We're going to do the same for Express, which is how we are going to create our server. Um, so we're going to do npm install um, Express and then save that to our package.json file and let that install. You can see here that it created a package.json file and a node modules file. The node modules it holds our socket IO and express packages and our package.json file just basically gives an overview of our application as well as tells node where the entry point uh, file is for our server. In this case it's going to be index.js. I'm actually going to create a new folder and call this a server. We'll just, oops, let's see, we'll have to go in here server and we'll go ahead and put these two files or two things inside of it. I've opened up Sublime Text here and we are going to create a new file and save it inside of our server folder here. So we're going to go to dev, uh, multiplayer demo, server, and we are going to call this index.js. Save it. Now we can get started on writing our server. If you've never worked with Node.js before, I would suggest probably looking at some of my Node.js videos, at least maybe the first few, just to understand uh, basically how to set up a basic web server. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and call it app and import or require the uh, web framework express. And then we're going to execute that. And then we're going to create a variable called server. And that is going to require the HTTP module that is native to Node.js. And we are going to call it server method and pass it the app that we created right above it. And then finally, we're going to create an IO. This is for socket IO. And it will require socket.io and we will pass it the server we created. Next, we're going to tell the server to go ahead and listen on a specific port. In our case, it's going to be port 8080. So we're going to say server.listen on port 8080, and then we're going to execute this callback function, and it will say console.log server is now running. Just gonna log that. So at this point, Socket IO is also listening on port 8080 along with the server, and it is listening for incoming connections. So we need to tell Socket IO what to do when a connection actually happens, and we do that by doing IO dot on, and then we give it the event connection then execute the following function and it takes in a socket which is the actual connection itself. Um, what we can do is say console.log um, player connected. 
Now that we have access to the individual connection between the server and the client, we can listen for events coming specifically from that connection. And one of those events could be the disconnect event when a client disconnects from the server. And so we can listen to that by saying socket.on and giving it the disconnect event. And then we can execute, when it disconnects, we can execute this following function console.log uh, player disconnected. And let's just go ahead and clean that up there. Let's go ahead and save that and exit it because we're not gonna be doing anything further with the server in this tutorial. And what I want you to do is go ahead and go to our server uh, folder here and open the terminal window for that folder. And then what we can do is say node and then index.js. And if everything is working correctly, you should see server is now running. Next, we're gonna work on the client side or our game. So I want you to go ahead and open your project up in Android Studios. At the bottom, uh, go to Gradle Scripts and the build.gradle folder or file for your project. Um, at the bottom of that, down here, you should see project uh, core and inside dependencies, we are going to include socket IO there. I've already uh, copied it, so it's compile and then uh, io.socket, uh, what is it, colon socket.io dash client and the version is 0.6.2. Uh, once you paste that in there, go ahead and I'm going to put it in double quotations because why not for consistency and then I'm going to hit sync now. So now I want you to go back to your multiplayer demo.java. It's inside the core folder here. Your, here we go. And up at the top for now, I want you to create a private socket called socket. Uh, make sure that you import uh, the io.socket.client.socket uh, um, because I think there's some other ones you don't want to get confused that could be an issue import and make sure it's the socket io socket um, so uh, inside the create method we are going to execute a function called connect socket and we'll create that down here public void connect socket so since we're dealing with network here, uh, we need to wrap this inside a try and catch. Um, so we'll do a catch uh, exception e system dot out dot print line e. So we can print the the trace if it fails. So what we want to do is say socket equals i o dot socket. Um, and then we pass it in HTTP and since we're running it on our local device, it's local host port 8080. There we go. And then we'll say socket dot connect. So this line right here actually uh, defines the connect where the server is located at. For us, it's local host on port 8080 as we defined previously. Uh, for some of you, it may be hosted on a web server somewhere. So you can just put the, the link to your web server where uh, socket IO is running uh, there. And then of course, we're going to connect the socket uh, to the server in the next line. So let's go ahead and run our game while simultaneously watching our server here. You can see the server is running. We're going to hit the play button here, which will launch our uh, Hello World um, LibGDX game. And what we should see here is once the game starts, it goes ahead and connects the socket and we should see player has connected. And so our game started and we have a player a connected event that the server is logging. And then if we close our game out, it closes that socket and you can see that player was disconnected event was emitted to the server and it logged that event to our console. We did it.
So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. We uh, started our first Node.js server, used Socket.io to listen to incoming connections. Then we created a uh, socket on our game and connected it to our server where they could communicate. Um, so right now we got our server logging events. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about sending data from the server to the client and sending data from the client to the server. So actual two-way communication there. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, but more importantly, please share it. Of course, I'm trying to grow this channel and you guys have been an amazing help. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.